and welcome to another episode of Gem Out and About. And this time around, I'm sticking to the title, and I'm out and about. This is something that most people know about me, but this is uh, it's 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 starting to get a little out of hand. Uh, I have friends, you know, as uh, some other people do. They have they have friends, and when you get together with your friends, you stay you tend to talk about cricket for some strange reason, right? Uh, I know nothing about it. All I know is that we won a World Cup back in 1996. What a victory for the Sri Lankans. A fantastic effort by them. Their players are charging out onto the ground. The Aussies shaking them by the hand. Little Moodley Dillon has arrived. What a year it's been for him. Distraught at one end of his season. And here he is now in the winning team. They've taken out the... And then I woke up and things have changed. A little bit. Do we need to like cricket anymore? Is my question to you. This is Shyam Impert, by the way. If you're wondering who he is, he's got a podcast. Uh, he's got uh, numerous uh, YouTube channels. Uh, he's got a harem. Shyam has been uh, working with cricketers for a really, really long time, on a very, very sort of personal level, almost. Right? A little bit, yeah. Uh, he's helped them out with their injuries. You've massaged a few of them. Uh, he's pulled a few cricketers once in a while uh, in order to give them relief. Sure, let's go with that. Yeah? Yeah, okay. So, he's the Sri Lankan version of Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Really then? In uh, the show... Ballers. Ballers. Right now, my dreams are all about deals and dollars. So, Shyam Impert works with uh, players and for some strange reason, it gives him joy. It and does. This is uh, this is very strange for me, and it's something that I've always wondered. I needed your, I need your opinion on this because you would know better than anybody else. Okay. Why do we need to like cricket? You don't necessarily need to like cricket, but cricket is so contagious that you end up liking it anyway. Yeah. Cricket prior to 1996 was actually second to local rugby mm. and football. Mm. Right? Mm. Even to this date, mm. cricket's most popular version is the 50 over version, which is the one day version and the T20 version. Right. Right? So, when Sri Lanka plays one day cricket, it is ranked at the highest. Yeah. But cricket is only second to local rugby, even to date, because if you take the overall population, yeah. rugby still is yeah. more popular over cricket in Colombo. Would you believe that? Domestic rugby. Do you know how difficult it is? For me to pretend to like this. This is. Uh, but if you want to go out and about, if you want to be talking to people, you yeah, know a little bit of cricket. Yeah, yeah. Then I have to fall in love with it. You have to. So go on. I was listening. We we like cricket because of some stats in goal. Yes. And <laughs> more than that, I mean, if the, the whole reason cricket became what it became was because, like you very rightfully said, the 1996 World Cup, Sri Lanka went the thick of a war. We had nothing to look forward we were in to. Think of it, yes, yes, and we had nothing to look forward to. But these boys from a tiny little island nation, they went out and they started playing, and they, they played very well. Mm. They were un, undefeated in the whole tournament, mm. and they came up winning a World Cup for that very brief moment. And they had day jobs. They had day jobs. They had day jobs. Most of the players back had in 1996, jobs. they were part-time accountants. Uh, they were salesmen. Some drove bulldozers. Uh, there were mechanics, there were bakers. I don't know if that is uh, accurate, but <laughs> the bottom line is for a very brief moment, Sri Lanka united as one. And that night when yeah. Sri Lanka played the final, everybody cheered for the country. And that was a turning point. That is where actually cricket became a uh, eat, sleep, repeat nonsense thing. Mm. Yeah, if, that, mm. if I said it right, I'm sure. You player agents are very controversial, right? Yeah. This is true though. This guy is in the firing line and he has so much access to absolute corruption. Absolute corruption. Corruption. Don't you? No. Don't you have access to some absolute corruption? Yes! He is the guy that the bookies would be approaching if they want to buy a player. So this is exactly the problem we have with guys like this. That is so wrong. What? 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 No. No, 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 no. We don't get involved in that rubbish. Man. No, no. Uh, tell you what though. 
as play agents you have various countries that has got various rules for play agents. Now, in Sri Lanka play agents are not recognized by Sri Lanka cricket. So, um, in the overall sense of it we are not as professional as an England or an Australia or a South Africa where they have a professional cricketers association or a professional cricket players association. But Lankan cricketers need representation. They do. They need representation in the form of someone that can speak for them and then help them advance their career and that's what you do. Something like that, yes. So, the player agent's main role is to overlook a player's well-being uh, in terms of his… Nutrition? Pro- not his nutrition, but in, ter- in terms of… Uh, his bedding? His commercial benefits. Sexual needs? No. There, there, are, there are other agents for that. Uh, however, my main role would be to ensure that my representative brother, brother, we cut that. My main role would Keep be that. no, we cut in that. <laughs> my main role would be to ensure that my client is what's the word? like who? Who are your clients right now? You're not going to believe this. You're not going to believe who his clients are. Unbelievable. Okay. So if I told you, you wouldn't believe it. That's one of the reasons why I said it's unbelievable. <laughs> All right. So. For example, uh, let's take an Angelo Matthews. From if when Angelo Matthews goes out, you actually out, manage Angelo Matthews. I do. Does so, he smell like? He smells good. It depends on the day, you know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, why would you even ask me a question like that? I'm in the sun. Yeah, but why would certain you certain things know are happening in my like? body, and because of it, questions are arising from within. That's fine. Don't oh. worry about it. That's just me talking with my third eye. Open. Oh, okay. Angelo Matthews. Um, so, for an example, if you take Angelo Matthews, he is in fact Sri Lanka's one of the top, Sri Lanka's top players, and he's also one of Sri Lanka's most appealing players. So, for a guy like that, you got to manage his image. You got to then manage his business portfolio separately in terms of you know what he gets Correct. Um, in a commercial aspect. So, we got to manage all those yeah. and mm-hmm. the right sort of partnerships, the right sort of. Endorsement deals Correct. that you know resonates off the player and the product, for an example. Okay. So all those things have to be bought in as well. Right. It's not just you know, hey, I represent so and so, give me this. No, you don't do it that way. You need to get the right deal. So and in other words, if Angelo Matthews wakes up in the morning and says, "Listen, I want to start endorsing firecrackers," mm-hmm. what do you as an agent say? No. That's your shit agent, man. I know. You're not going to make any money for any of these players. I won't. But that, that kind is of, the problem. You know, You've got to have the right synergies. This is why I should be an agent. Okay, I will get you some bonus. I, I will. Can, I can work out some bonus I can make for you. you. I can get you the leading firecracker agent. Uh, the sun is getting to him. So, I'm assuming what you want to ask me was why isn't Angela Matthews still the T20 version? That's what I said. Against New Zealand. Yeah. yeah. I knew it. I knew it. So, uh, the story with Angie is I think they tried to rest him this time around because he had a very, very long cricket season. He played the World Cup too and he also was recently adjudged player of the series in the Bangladesh, uh, Sri Lanka series and interesting. Why would you want to rest a guy who's in form? Anywho, so he's been rested yeah, for… Yeah, that's f***ed up. It is. Um, but then again, different selection policies oh, and… F- that shit, man. Why? Because it's not cool. It, it isn't, but maybe there was uh, a thinking behind it and maybe there is a very just thinking behind it. I don't know. Nah, f*** that. I'm pissed off. Uh, it's okay. We'll talk to Angie and, you know, you can have a chat with him then. Okay. I, know you, I know you guys are really cool and close yeah. and all that yeah. stuff. So you, you tell him. I'm thinking about him. But in the… In, right? in tell the, him not to keep my number blocked I'll for tell so him long. It's been a while. I'll tell him that. In the main… Frame of things though, you'd got, want a guy like Angelo Matthews 100% at all times. Yeah. And I guess they wanted him to just take some time off and also rest a little bit and also be able to bowl in the next couple uh, months or so. Uh, he's yeah. going to play a very vital part yeah. running through the T20 World Cup. Mm-hmm. And he's going to have to be bowling, batting and fielding. I guess one of the reasons they you know, rested him is also to give the youngsters a chance. Mm-hmm. And Angie is the kind of guy who would just wake up in the morning and come to the field and do his thing. I've got three questions for you. All right. All right. Sure. Uh, I spent all of two and a half minutes coming up with these questions. Wow. Uh, they're in depth and uh, are based on uh, viewer comments. All right. And uh, based on uh, 
uh, research mm -hmm. in many veterinary fields. So, mm. this is uh, the first question. Uh, cricket, where is it? Cricket, okay. That's actually a very good question. To come through what you said about, you know, where we were and where we are and everything else. Yeah. Yes, we were in a very bad spot, but now if you look at it, since February this year, yeah. Sri Lanka cricket has been on a steady incline. Incline. Yes. From a recline, which is good. And many people said that we would be nowhere at the World Cup. So they all said that we're going to be beaten by Bangladesh, we're going to be beaten by uh, Afghanistan. Lo and behold, well, the Bangladesh game, it rained, but we beat them at home. Uh, we beat Afghanistan. We beat England, the World Cup champions. And we had a very good uh, campaign, so to speak, because in the overall sense of it, we went with a team that was not even playing together six months ago. <laughs> right? And I would say it's pretty, pretty brilliant. Yeah. 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 And we just tied with New Zealand uh, the, the test series, which was decent. Okay. And uh, we also, okay, we lost the first T20 game as we speak against New Zealand. Nobody remembers that. Nobody remembers Nobody that. Nobody knows that. Yes, uh, but in the overall sense of it, I think Sri Lanka cricket right now is in a good position. We need to now build this team, let the guys play together for longer and gel and bond and then move forward. Because Correct. longevity of a player is important. Longevity of a player is important. And they need to be because in the team. Because dead players are useless. True. So, very true. All right. Court. Yeah. Okay. So that's where we are. We are Exclusive. in a very good place. Exclusive, right? Exclusive. Sri Lanka cricket. Who is it? We are Sri Lanka cricket. All Sri Lankans, all players, as one nation supporting your team. That's Sri Lanka cricket. That's the only way I can think. Uh, Sri Lanka cricket. How is it? Thanks. That is the correct answer. Thanks. That is right. That is right. Well done. Well done. Well done. That was beautiful. If someone brings up the word cricket when you are out and when you are in a social setting, just be really upset that Angelo Matthews is not playing. If, if people were to uh, just, uh, you know, if someone brings up cricket, what's a good thing to pretend to know? Um, what's going on at the moment? What, the, what is going on? At the the Ashes, India versus West Indies, the Test Championship. Are we going to be okay without Lasit Malinga? Well, it's a, bit, it's a different, uh, it's a very difficult question, isn't it? The guy is almost, uh, he's at the verge of 100 T20 wickets. I'll take that as a no. It's going to be difficult. We're finished. It's the end. We don't have Lasit Malinga. We're done. We're done. We're done. Really? No, no, no. Ah. <laughs> but... I tell you what, the Rashid, Rashid Khan, okay. for the, the African spinner, is is gonna be easily the second guy to get to 100 uh, T20 wickets. Couldn't give a shit. Yes. Who do we need to look at now in the team going forward? Who is who's who's the next Lasit? Who's the next Lasit? There's never gonna be another Lasit. Lasit is Lasit. He is. He is his own man. I mean, you're not going to ever get that caliber of bowling. It's like the next Wazim Akram. We, we, we never found the next Wazim Akram. Yeah. Right? You know who that is, right? Yeah. Cool. Um, so, Wazim Akram. We don't know him. Uh, I, I, I hated his, uh, his forehand. All right. Yeah. Should we go home now? I'm hungry. Yeah. yeah. So, Where okay. Who, uh, so, so there's, there's nobody apart from Lasit Malinga, quite, quite seriously? No, no, no. There are, there are players who are going to be very good. Like, okay, know. top players, top players. Shyam's pick up players to watch out for. <laughs> Go. In which format? Uh, in uh, the outdoor format. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Lahiru Kumara is a very good fast bowling prospect that we've had. He has come out of nowhere in the sense, you know, he's, he's got really good pace, he does 140 Ks per hour, he's a fantastic player to look out for. Yeah. Uh, Miroshan Dekwella needs to keep his head down yeah. and start playing his shots because he is a guy who could take a game away from you just like that. Kasun Rajita, another excellent fast bowler. Kasun Rajita, mm -hmm. now all these players had uh, just before, I mean, you know, till just, I mean, just since of late, mm -hmm. have come into a lot of money. They've all been uh, from deplorable backgrounds. Uh, not necessarily. Uh, okay. 
But the point is, we're talking about players to look out for. So, Kasun Rajat, another very good express bowler. You need to look out for him. And then there's one in the Hasaranga. Boy, you can bat and you can also spin the ball. He's been very good in the T20 format. I think it's going to be a match winner for Sri Lanka going forward as well. What's his, what's his name again? One Hindu Hasaranga. One Hindu Hasaranga. Mm-hmm. So, Hindu. he bats, he bowls, you know, he's got the whole package. And you also got, got guys like even Akira Dhanan here. Right. He's had a few issues with his bowling action according to the ICC, but they've not been able to prove anything. He's back and he's bowling very well. So, he's there. Obviously, Kusal Mendes taken a lot of flack for what he's been doing, you know, but now he's scoring his runs and he's coming into form. I always believed in Kusal Mendes. He's a good guy. He's a great guy. Yep. And, you know, jokes aside, mm. something has to be said about the skipper, mm. Dimut Kanora. Mm. He has done an excellent job in gelling and bonding these guys. Wow. Mm. And he's taken away all those unnecessary bad energies. So I to see. Speak. Yes. I see. He's like a bit of a shaman, you know, doing his thing and making it happen. So, in that aspect, yes, good skipper. And I think Sri Lanka. Going forward is in a good position. We just need to now keep our heads down, do the basics, get it right, hire a coach. Parting words, parting words. Uh, who are you going to vote for for the next presidential election? You know who I'm going to vote for. Chick. Disgusting. I don't uh, know, man. Scrupulous man. Who are you going to vote for? You know who I'm going to vote for. Ah, there you go. All I can say is this much. It's going to be a man. That's a wrap up rap. Stop. Crap. Are we doing this? Are we doing the whole?